Hello, this is Riley Porter with Seattle Sumo. You are listening to a commentary track for Day 14 of the 1960 Haru Basho. The video coverage for this tournament can be found on the Japan Sumo Association's YouTube channel. A link for that is in the description. Well, without further ado, I'll count down to get us synced up here. I'll count backwards from 3, 3, 2, 1. As I hit the end in 1, you're going to press play on the video coverage and will be synchronized. And without further ado, I'll begin. Three, two, one. Futabayama, Taiho, Shiano Fuji, Archive. All right, and at the top of day 14 action, we have Kiryu Gawa of the Tokitsukaze Stable. Seven, six, one from Kachikoshi against Uragawa the Miyagino stable, one away from Makekoshi. Meet in the middle, some pushing from Kiriyogawa, taking back Uragawa, pulling, digging it with the neck. Now Uragawa's pulling and finishing the nice little uh, Yorikiri, you could call that a Nuwate Nage. Uragawa really uh, pressing with that outside grip. In any event, he moves into day 15 on 7-7, seven and seven, so it's still a chance for Katsukoshi. Now Kurinobori, another Jirio visitor, is up against Suninishiki. Who is on his way back to Jurio? He's on 310 already, close to the bottom of the division. And he jumps to the side, Zuninishiki, and moves back in for a belt grip. He's on the outside right. He's got a good angle, staying low. Kinobori is the much heavier man. A little bit of a stalemate here, jostling. Zuninishiki moves in. Oh, he's being lifted, but he sticks down and pushes down Kinobori. A little bit of a dashinage seemed like a pulling throw. Tsuninishiki picks up his fourth win, beating Kuninobori and improving his head-to-head -head with him to 6-2. So he's got his number. Naruto Umi already has a Make Koshi. Mike Shiro 14 pretty close to the bottom of the division, so he's fighting to stay in Makunochi. He's up against Wakachichibu, who's already 310. Not doing very well. They meet in the middle. Naruto Umi gets that Maimitsu, that shallow middle grip. Moving that left inside, Wakachichibu caught high. Wakachichibu trying to lock up the arm. Narutumi in both hands there, Maimitsu. Middle of the belt, wrenching it up into Wakachichibu's chest. Pulling. More pulling, tries for a little leg sweep. Not able to topple Wakachichibu yet, who's got his own outside left going. He's in the spout now, he's got an inside right, he's deep on Narutumi. Arutomi, the lightest wrestler in this division. If there's a man you want to try to lift out on, this would be it. And he does. Wakachichibu Tsuridashi yanks up Narutomi onto his big belly and finishes him off. So Wakachichibu goes to 410. Narutomi, that's his ninth loss. Pretty close to demotion. Matsunobori, 5-8 against Fukudayama. Also 5-8. Fukuyama, the less experienced of the two. While Matsunobori doesn't get very far in the Tachiai, kind of catches Fukuyama, but now he's moving in and pressing out. Winning via Yorikiri. So Matsunobori kind of sat back this time, didn't, didn't come out with the charge. Decided to wait and watch, taking out the lighter man. Matsunobori gets his sixth win. Fukurayama, his ninth loss. And Maigashira, 10. He's not too close to the bottom of the division, but 10 losses. You know, if he loses tomorrow, too, they'll send him a ways down. Kani no Hana against Wakamaeda. They're both 8 5. They're from uh, two of the biggest stables in the division, or in sumo, really, two of the more prestigious ones. Takasago for Wakamaeda. They want Umi for Kani no Hana. Wakamaeda hits the chest and moves out Kane no Hana. So a relatively even touchy eye. Kane no Hana, Kane no Hana shot off, but uh, Wakamaeda, the bigger man, gets into gear and doesn't look back. That's his ninth win. He has the potential for double digits this boss show. Looking good. Doing well for a stable whose Yokozuna has had to pull out. Wakamaeda. Aono Sato 
Couldn't get Kachikoshi today. He's on 7-6. Otago Yama across from him, the bottom man in this division, already has Kachikoshi. So a bit of pressure off. He comes in pushing, moves up on the neck and chest. Aono Sato's caught him. Now he's moving in and finishing Otago Yama. So Otago Yama got to pushing. Aono Sato made a little distance, changed the angle, and then closed that distance. Dropping his hips and finishing Otago Yama. So Aono Sato gets his Kachikoshi. A day before the finale. Bit of pressure off for this man, too. The up-and-comer from Tokitsukaze. We'll see if he can get a little bit above the mark tomorrow. Hanada, he's still in it. Still with that injured left. Hasn't managed to pick up any wins since that bandage appeared. Against Kaizan, who already has a Makekoshi. Hanada comes out to the right and very fleet-footed. Circles to behind Kaizan and pushes him down. So Hanada, he does it. Gets that seventh win. Manages to execute effective sumo despite only being, a, well, effectively a one-armed dikishi at this stage of the Basho. So Hanada, in his top division debut, definitely having a pretty rough second week, but he can still come out with a winning record. Oginohana, 6-7 against Kiyonomori, 9-4. Kiyonomori struggling a little bit here as we get to the final. Oginohana comes in low, pushing. Kiyonomori tries a kataskashi, fails. Now he's pushing in, but gets swung down by Oginohana. So Oginohana, good form, staying low. Doesn't get upset too badly. Tosses down the lightweight Kiyonomori and gets his seventh win. So Oginohana moves into the final day, 7-7. Things could end either way for the Dewanu Umi man. We'll see. Now, Hani Nishiki, 4-9. And Magashira, 12. He'll want to get at least one or two more wins here to secure his rank in the top division against Tamano Umi, 3-10. Not looking too lively, this Basho. Hani Nishiki shoots across the lines. He's double inside. Tamano Umi's jostling for position here. And gets taken out. Hani Nishiki gets his fifth win. So Tamano Umi, a uh, bit of a ghost this Basho, gets taken out by Hani Nishiki, struggling here in kind of the kind of the bottom of Makunochi. But still, five wins might be enough to save Rink. Hard to say. Doesn't have a lot of uh, room for error at this stage. Shinobu Yama, 6-7. Well, he was looking stronger at the first half, but now risks Makekoshi. Taiho across from him already has his Makekoshi. Now thrusting at the chest is Taiho, moving both arms underneath is Taiho, and tossing down Shinobu Yama is Taiho, who gets his sixth win today. Has a chance to break out at 7-8 for his best rank to date. Shinobu Yama, his Makekoshi. Taiho, despite a losing record, has really uh, composed himself very well here in the Joey. I mean, he's a very high rank for a wrestler at this stage of his career, so... Pretty, pretty adept. Good on the belt. A little bit more power should do it. Naruyama, 5'8", he's already got Makekoshi, like his stablemate Shinobu Yama. Just picked up. Oikawa, 6-7. He might go Makekoshi today. We'll see. Well, not quite in sync. Naruyama gets jumping and they have to reset. We'll see if we can get it this time around. And they're off. Oikawa slips to the side and pushes in, pressing upward. But Naruyama, he slips to the side. Coming around to Oikawa's left, putting on a bit of that Sorogake leg trip and flattening the Takasago man, sending him to his Makekoshi. Naruyama gets his sixth win. He's even with Oikawa now. They're both 6 8. Well, Naruyama didn't look too sure at the beginning, but he showed his technical skill, his sumo brain at work. Here facing us, Miyagi no Oyakata, followed by Kokonoe Oyakata. 
to former Yokozuna. Wakanokuni, 7 and 6. He has a chance for Kachikoshi today. And he's up against Ohikari, also on 7 6. And this is their first meeting. Wakanokuni is an up and comer, and Ohikari is a longtime veteran who's really turning things around here in the second week. Thrusting at the throat is Wakanokuni, but returning fire is Ohikari, and he finishes the younger man. Bit of a. Uh, Oshidashi? Tsukidashi? Kachikoshi. That's a winning record for Ohikari. You wouldn't have thought it coming out of day five, but the Dewanoumi pusher? Fire, firecracker? Feisty man? He's done it. Wakanokuni leaves today 7 7. We'll have to see where fortune takes him tomorrow. Shionishiki 3 10. Deep into a losing record. It's up against Yoshinomine 4 9. Also deep into a losing record. Shionishiki has the edge, 5 3, and her head to head. Meet in the middle. Yoshinomine's deep in, but Shionishiki clicks in at the edge, puts on that Uwate throw, and sends Yoshinomine out behind him. Tossing the sandbag out. Shionishiki breaks even with him today. They are 4 10, both Dikishi. Yoshinomine and Magashiro 13, I think that it's. Safe to say he's out of Makunochi for next boss show. Tokitsuyama, he still has a chance for the U show. If he stays clean in the Yokozuna falter, then he's a contender. Up against Tsurugamine, who's got a chance for Kachikoshi today on 7 6. They meet in the middle. Tokitsuyama tries to get a push going. Tsurugamine shuffles away. He's guarding the belt. Got his own inside grip going. Makikai grip change. Does it take? Does he have the Morozashi? It looks like it. Tokitsuyama bracing himself, Tsurugamine, Gaburi pumping away, but Tokitsuyama picks up and flattens Tsurugamine. So, Tokitsuyama, that looked like a lot of trouble for the Heavenly King here, the strong man from Tatsunami, but he overcomes Tsurugamine, moving to his 12th win and keeping Chan his hopes alive for a possible Yusho. Which would be his second overall. Of course, he's uh, already managed a championship once upon a time. Tsurugamine comes out of today, 7-7. Seven seven, so, could be Kachikoshi, could be Makekoshi. We'll see tomorrow. Now, Iwakaze, 6-7. Straddling Makekoshi against Wakamisugi. 9-4 is already doing pretty well for himself. Iwakazi has the edge in their head-to-head, -head, 4 3 And he's low. Wakamisugi misses him, almost. But now they're on the belt. He's pressing down on the Wakamatsu man, not giving him any room to maneuver, and finishes Iwakaze. Uh, I suppose you'd call that a Yoritaoshi. Wakamisugi gets his 10th win. That's double digits for the young man from Hanakago. Looking very good there. Iwakaze is typical Tachiai. Almost uh, almost seemed to give Wakamisugi the slip, but no lateral movement to pair with that ducking, so Wakamisugi got caught. Caught Iwakaze. Sent into his Makekoshi. That's his eighth loss. Tamahibiki. He's already got his Kachikoshi. He's 8-5, and he's up against a man who also has a Kachikoshi. Kita no 8-5. So not too much at stake. For these two Dikishi. Tamahibiki hits the chest. Kita no Nada tries to get those arms out of the way, get some pushing going of his own. A little gut thrusting. He's got Tamahibiki on the edge and flattens him. Yoritaoshi, Kita no Nada, ninth win. Chance for double digits tomorrow. Tamahibiki, that's his sixth loss. So, best he can hope for is 9 6, but not too bad, all things considered. Kita no Nada looking very lively. Getting the shimmying going. Oh, good for him. Two Tatsunami men winning today so far. The Iwanishiki 4-9 against Wakanomi 4-9. Well, neither having a very good boss show. Probably looking forward to the end. Now, the Iwanishiki 
Takes a catcher's pose, doesn't move forward too much, waits for Wakanomi, and now they're arms across from each other, forehead to forehead, and that's all that's keeping them posted. They want Ishiki, keeping distance, doesn't want to let Wakanomi get in too deep. Wakanomi, digging in that head, looking for that grip. They want Ishiki, threatens to do the same. They want Ishiki, pulls him, and he's got that outside right now. Wakanomi, he gets the inside left. He's at a decent angle here. Does he have the power to finish off Dewanishiki? Dewanishiki is not an easy man to move out of the dokyo. A bit of a standoff. Wakanomi, I think, could move to Omorozashi here. But would that be his preferred stance at this moment? Jostling for grip here. The waiting game. Not a very not a, not an un, all too unfamiliar scene for Dewanishki. He is used to leaning, and now Wakanomi's belt is loose, so we're taking a pause in the action so the Gyoji can tie it back up. Dewanishki has been quite the uh, perpetrator of untied belt this Basho. And all, we are back to action. They want Ishiki. Jocelyn tries to break the grip. No good. Returns to that outside right. Stalemate continues. They want Ishiki leaning on the smaller man. Well, what is Wakanomi's game plan here? Well, I would think he'd want to make a break for the inside. Probably a Morozashi. They want Yishiki's heavy. And he knows how to defend against a shorter Dikishi, that is for sure. Patiently waiting is Dewan Ishiki. Looking over his opponent. Tries to jerk him up. Doesn't take. Keeps a searching eye. Adjusts his footing some. Tries a little leg sweep. Nothing taking. Yes, it's a slow bout. They want Ishiki searching for something. Wakonomi, I suppose, also searching for something. Can't really see uh, what's going through his head right now. But his head seems to be making its way through Dewan Ishiki. It's really dug into the chest there. They want Ishiki tries to pop on the inside of the thigh, but no good. They circle, and now they're back to a standoff. Oh, they want Ishiki's tried a few tricks here. Credit where credit is due. Making a little more action in this bout than uh, Wakanaomi, who seems content to just post up underneath the big man. Now he grabs for the leg. No dice. Another pause in the action. And it's they want Ishiki's belt this time. And we're done tying that up. Back to it. Pulling is Wakanomi. Staying put is Dewan Ishiki. Now Dewan Ishiki tries for a pull. Stalemate. Dewan Ishiki drives in. He's going for Yori. Wakanomi circles away. Stays alive. The bout continues. Well, Dewan Ishiki... Presses in, Wakanomi moving around. Wakanomi doing well to pivot, circle to Dewan Ishiki's left, favoring that outside grip. So will it be as we've seen set up thus far, where Dewan Ishiki presses in and Wakanomi gives him the slip, or will Dewan Ishiki find a new way to finish this bout? He's looking, adjusting his grip, inching forward, Wakanomi, maintaining his stance. Dewanishiki tries to deepen his grip, Wakanomi goes for that inside leg trip, back to a stalemate. 
the flap on Wakanaomi's uh, belt there has his name on it, as you can see. Don't nothing, not something you normally get to take a look at during a bout, but it is on the inside there, and uh, not crucial to tying the belt, so it's okay to have it hanging down like so. All the uh, Sekitori, or at least all the top division men, do have a uh, similar arrangement, their name printed on the inside of their mawashi. It's been the case for a long time. And a break! And a water break, I believe. This bout has gone on for some time now. Water breaks take place if a bout goes on by at least uh, about four minutes or so. So this is really a marathon in sumo terms. You're getting back in the exact same stance they were in. The, it's the Gyoji's responsibility to remember how they were positioned, to mark their feet, and make sure they resume the bout exactly as they left it. The Ikishi are not exactly tasked with memorizing their, their stance. That's really the Gyoji's job. And it looks like they're back to pretty much where they were, and the bout goes on. Pulling and circling a twist down from Wakanomi to finally finish this. Conquering Dewan Ishiki, picking up his fifth win, the Komusubi. So that was really a, quite the quite the struggle between these two Dikishi, but Wakanomi. Finishes about with that good lateral movement that he'd been using to keep himself alive. Changes that defense to an offense. And goes to show uh, his versatility as a wrestler. <clears throat> Shin Komusubi Fujinishiki. 6 and 7 is against Sekiwake Kitabayama. 9 4. Fujinishiki gets pushing. Kitabayama standing his ground, fishing for that shallow grip. Circling away from the edge, pulling up on the belt of Fujinishiki. Fujinishiki's had his momentum upset now, and he's hanging on. When it comes to grips, I think Hitabayama is the much stronger Dikishi, so he should be able to finish this, and he pulls down Fujinishiki. Shitate Dashinage, inside pulling belt throw. Well, Kitabayama gets double digits on day 14, 10 and 4. His uh, Yusho dreams are long gone, but he's still looking solid, showing uh, anyone below his rank that he's not a man to be messed with. Annenyama, the only uh, top division Tatsunami Dikishi with a Makekoshi this Basho is against Tochi Hikari. 7-6, struggling to secure that winning record. Annenyama dodges to the side. Tochi Hikari, moving that hand behind the shoulder blade, pushing and pushing from the rear. So Tochi Hikari pulled away, tugged on Ananyama, sent him sprawling forward, then followed up behind for an Okuri Dashi, rear push out, securing his Kachikoshi. Tochi Hikari. Well, he's looked solid this Basho, and I'm sure he's relieved to finally have that winning record secured. Annen Yama falls to 5-9, so he'll definitely be falling out of Sanyaku at this point. He needed at least a 7-8 just to land on Komusubi. Shinseki Wake Kashiwato already has his Kachikoshi. He's up against Ozeki Kotogahama, looking for his Kachikoshi today. And Kotogahama gets the better of the Tachi. I gets to work on the Uchigake, but can't finish Kashiwato, who gets to work on a scoop. But Kotogahama moves from inside leg trip to inside leg trip and finishes Kashiwato. With a second attempt and gets that Kachikoshi. So Kotogahama evens up his head-to-head -head with Kashiwato. Now it's 2-2. Two, two. Did well to stop Kashiwato in his tracks. Kashiwato relies on a strong Tachiai and good Dayashi. So if you can halt his momentum, that's your best chance to win. Trade secret. Wakahaguro. And Ozeki that already has his Kachikoshi today is against Wakanohana. Wakanohana has a 17-2 edge in their head-to-head, -head, so odds favor him, certainly. He meets him in the middle. Wakahagoro gets to pushing. This is what he wants. And a scoop throw from Wakanohana. 
gets both hands on the blades, the shoulder blades of Wakahagoro, and tosses him down. Wakanohana, 14 0, eliminates Tokitsuyama from the Yusho race. And now we'll see if Hochinishiki can keep pace. So Wakanohana, Wakahagoro, he was in his preferred sumo. He was at the angle he wanted. He was pushing up. His hands may have been a little high. He was catching the jaw and shin. Might have put her off on the chest, but not much more he could have done. Tochinishiki against Fusanishiki. Fusanishiki has not beaten Tochinishiki once in their eight meetings together, so tall order for him. Tochinishiki wants to keep pace with Wakanohana. A little bit of a sidestep from the Yokozuna, who's now backpedaling. Fusanishiki's really on the attack, but Tochinishiki outpaces him, keeps the lateral movement going, and pulls him down. That looked to me like, uh, I suppose that would be uh, Tsukio Toshi, Hataki Komi, a bit of a pull-down, slap-down motion. In any event, Tochinishiki is 14-0, so the two Yokozuna are unblemished, going into Senshidaku. 14-0 versus 14-0. Tokitsuyama is out of the Yusho race. It is between the two Yokozuna. And we'll see what the result is tomorrow. Thank you for joining me.